For this curtain grid demonstration, we have a single blank 123 cabinetry curtain wall. Along with six reference planes, which we can snap curtain grids onto. You can use either reference planes or 2D Revit line work as a snap reference for curtain grid placement. Always place curtain grids in the correct order, starting with the longest, edge to edge grids first. After completing placement of the edge to edge grids, the smaller, segmented grids are placed next. It's important to remember that all curtain grids are continuous and extend edge to edge, even segmented grids. Segmented grids only display a fraction of the overall edge to edge grid. Now, let's place the longest edge to edge grids first, as was mentioned earlier. Next, we'll place the two lower segmented grids at the curtain wall base. The final curtain grid placement in this demonstration is the one that can cause the most confusion if you're not already familiar with Revit curtain grids. You'll notice that the grid segment preview is incomplete when hovering the mouse pointer over the existing grid to the right-hand side of the wall. However, when we move the mouse pointer and hover over the existing grid to the left, the grid segment preview is complete. This indicates that the grid segment will now correctly divide the cell that it's hosted within. Now, let's take a step back and see why the grid segment to the right-hand side of the wall was incomplete and how it can be corrected. First, let's place the incomplete curtain grid and analyze what the problem is. The solid line work of the invisible grid ends where this grid intersects the vertical grid, shown here in red. The remaining dashed grid segment, shown here in green, needs to be added separately from the rest of the solid segment. Now, let's create a vertical reference plane over the intersecting grid using Revit's Create Similar tool. To place the missing grid segment, we need to first select the invisible grid, then activate the Add Remove Segments tool and finally click where the missing segment is needed to the left of the vertical reference plane. Now, the cell is correctly divided and we can use the Align tool to bring the curtain grid into the correct location over the horizontal reference plane.